Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will see how to give your digital signature like this. We can also change the color of this digital signature with blue, green, red, brown as well. We can also reset this digital signature. Now we can save this digital signature. So for this we need to give the permission, just allow it. Now our signature is stored successfully. Now let us see the file of this signature. Now in the files, we have this signature. So let us see how we can create this. Hello everyone, I have already created a project signature with the help of flutter create command. Now in this project, we have a signature pad which is a stateful widget. Now in this, we have a scaffold widget and in this scaffold widget, give a background color which is a custom background color which is this now and now in the body give column widget now in the column widget give children's in the children give text widget and give sign your commitment now after this give a style Now in the style give text style. Now in the text style give font size as 45, font family as Roboto and font weight as font weight dot bold and color as colors dot black. Now let us run the app. Now we have this output. So for this just grab this column widget. So for this left click on it and go to the refactor and grab with widget and give padding. In the padding give edge insects.all give the value as 30. Now let us run the app. Now we have this output. Now let us copy this text. And paste it here after this just reduce the font size as 23 and just remove the font weight now just replace this with the dummy text as this now let us run the app now we have this output after this give a container widget and in the container give height as 125 and width as 400 and color as colors dot white now let us run the app now we have this output now let us give the sized box and the size box give height as 20 now let us run the app now we have this output now we need a plugin so for this open the google chrome and search for sign fusion flutter signature pad Come to the installing section, just copy this dependency and paste this dependency in pubspec.yml file and press Ctrl plus S button to import the plugin. Now copy this import statement and paste it here. Now in the child of container widget, give sf signature pad now in the signature pad give key now in this we need to pass the global key so let us create a global key so global key sf signature pad state give a reference as sf global key now just pass this reference in this key now let us give the minimum stroke width as 3, maximum stroke width as 5. Now give the stroke color as colors.black. Now background color as colors.white. 
let us run the app to see the result now we can sign on this commitment now we want a color palette here so that user can click on it so let us create a function color palette it will accept a color Now the return type of this function is widget. Now let us return a elevated button. Now in the elevated button, in the on press method, pass null for now. And in this style, give elevated button dot style from. Now in this give the shape of the button as circular border and give the padding as edge insects.all give the value as 14 now color background color as color now in the child give null now in the end give semicolon now just call this function just after the container widget and in this just pass a color as color start blue now let us run the app to see the result now we want a number of colors in a row so use row widget now in the row give children's now in the children just pass this color now second one will be a uh, train let us see the result now we have green now the third one will be a uh, gray gray accent And the fourth one will be red red accent now let us see the result now we have four color here we can add more than one as brown now we have five color here now in the row give main axis alignment as main axis alignment dot center let us see the result now give a sized box and in the sized box give height as 10 now we have this so now when a user click on this color then the signature color should change to blue and if a user click on this color then the signature should change to red so for this create a final create a color variable color current color and initialize it with colors dot black now just pass this current color in this stroke color now when a user click on this so uh, in the on press method just use set state method to change the current color value so current color assign the color value now let us see the result now when i sign on this commitment we can change this color as red accent brown blue or whatever color your user want now we want a two button here first one is save signature and second one is reset button so for this first of all give a sized box and then give a row widget and then children and the children give elevated button as save signature and in this style give foreground color and background color let us give a sized box and then give an another elevated button which has reset now let us see the result now we have these two signature now in the reset button give 
give sf reference then current state then clear basically this is for to clear the signature now let us run the app to see the result now when i sign on this commitment and click on reset signature has been gone now to save our signature in a local device we need to ask for storage permission so for this open the google chrome and search for permission handler just copy this dependency and paste this dependency in pubspec.yml file now just copy this import statement and paste it here now our plugin has been imported successfully now let us create a request permission function so for this create a request permission function now in this function create a final variable status and in this status wait for the permission which is await and then give permission dot storage dot status now this function is async now after this if if status dot is granted it means permission if permission is not granted then ask for the permission so for this give permission dot storage dot request now our request permission is created successfully now after creating request permission we need to add some permission in android.manifest file so these permissions are uses permission of read external storage write external storage and external legacy so for this copy this and go to the android then app then src then main and in the and in the android.manifest file just paste these permissions and also android legacy external storage to true now after this create another one function which is save signature now in save signature function we need to get this image in image variable now after this we need to convert this image to byte data and then u int 8 this format now create a file object file f is equal to new file and give the path of the signature is this storage emulated 0 download signature dot png after this write these bytes with the help of this function write as bytes and in the bytes give u int 8 list after this this function is async Now when a user click on save signature first thing is we need to call the request function now second one is save signature now let us run the app to see the result now when a user sign on this commitment and try to change the color of signature as blue and press on save signature this asks the permission allow signature to access photo and media just allow it and our signature is saved successfully in the media files now let us see in the files now we have this our signature